gon' be the sign if Still not understanding this logic Good morning! Welcome to the vlog! It is Monday morning. We are getting our life together this week. I am fresh off of full vacation recovery. It is the end of June. We are approaching the third month, my 90 days since I have moved. I wanted to give myself like a full 90 days to get settled, unpack, get my life situated, get my feet grounded. And we're coming up on that time. I'm feeling great. I did my yoga. Let me let me turn my watch off actually, yeah. And I'm feeling good. I've done my emails, kind of got everything started. And I said, let me get the vlog started. So it's just like a weekly vlog, but I wanted to get started. It's a Monday, I wanted to get my day started. And I'm feeling, like I said, I'm feeling good about things. Last week I did kind of a test run and I tried out Factor Meals, which were really good. Um, I put like my little TikToks here, or I'll put my TikToks in here of kind of what I thought for the meals. Hey, it's been almost a week. I got my factor meals. I tried them. Let's rate them. So <laughs> I told y'all when I got my factor meals, I would be back to give you like my verdict on them. I tried most of them. I'm literally eating one right now. It doesn't look like much, but it's the steak chimichurri shrimp with potatoes and mixed vegetables. I have about three left. I got a little bit of everything, like seafood, red meat, chicken, kind of everything to try. And I honestly really have liked them. There's only one that I was kind of mad on, but only because I felt like I could make it really fast myself. Um, they all can be made in two minutes in the microwave or you can put them in the oven. They all have the same preparation time. They are delivered to your house. They're not frozen, so they're all fresh. I was actually really impressed. I spent overall, I got 10 meals. I spent about seven to eleven dollars per meal and I got some premium meals like I got the filet mignon and shrimp and stuff like that so compared to eating out or grocery shopping they're pretty comparable and I've had some days where I came back from working out and I needed to eat immediately and I could just pop them in the microwave two minutes and done so I honestly don't have a lot of cons so there's promo codes everywhere literally if you google like factor meals promo codes stuff will come up so I would say if you want to try them, I definitely would try them. I don't regret it at all. I probably will order them again, especially on weeks I'm really busy because you can pause them whenever you want and try them, pause them, try them again. You don't have to like do a subscription or membership or anything like that. So I was actually very impressed. I was a little skeptical, but the meals were actually very good. Some of them were like really, really good and I didn't feel like I could cook them myself. So they're a thumbs up. I'm going to probably try like Green Chef and some other ones, but... Factor gets a yes for me. That's my review. And that was good and I did enjoy them, but I'm going to try to do meal prepping and kind of do it on my own for a little bit, just budget wise. I also use AI to do my workouts. I definitely want to show you guys how I used AI to do my workout plans. And I've actually made quite a few for other people, which I find really helpful. I'm one of those people who like, AI is a little crazy to me, but I definitely use it to my benefit. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And just trying to get my room situated and get used to doing my home workouts. I'm trying to train myself to overcome doing my home workouts. I was going to join a gym here. I haven't found one in walking distance that I really like. And realistically, I'm not gonna to wanna to walk to a gym. So I have a lot of equipment here. I have my spin bike, I have my barbell, I have my kettlebells. YouTube, I have so much stuff here, so I'm just trying to get that together. So that's what I've been, that's what I'm doing this week. And I'm using YouTube and you guys as my accountability partner. And we're doing, we're doing the things. I'm very excited. It's so hot in Charleston right now that I am not at a hot yoga studio because I can't imagine paying somebody a hundreds a month to go in a heated room when it is literally 100 degrees outside. I can't, I can't understand it. I can go outside and do yoga in 100 degrees, so I don't understand why I would pay somebody $150 right now to do yoga. So we're making it work, we're doing the things. I'm, I wanna create my lifestyle in Charleston. I'm trying not to be like, oh, well, Atlanta, you know, in Atlanta I had a trainer, I had a partnership with a meal prep company, I had my walking trail, I kinda had everything set, so, now that I've been here almost 90 days, I'm like, okay, so now what does that look like in my new setting? So I'm very excited to kind of get that situated. 
and I'm also very excited. I officially said it on TikTok, so I'm telling everybody because if I say it out loud to people and to basically 14,000 people on YouTube, if I say it out loud, it'll hold me accountable and I have to do it. I'm training for a 10K. That is 6.2 miles. I used to do 5Ks all the time. 6.2 miles is twice as much as that. It's not until April, so I have plenty of time, but I am, I was not a runner. I am a walker. I like the power walk. I do distance and stuff like that, but I want to give like a decent pace, a decent jog. I'm not trying to sprint it. I'm not trying to be in the top 10. I'm not trying to race anybody, but I do want to like have a decent pace. So I am trying to train a little bit more and like actually, you know, pick up my feet, pick up my knees. So that's where we are. I just wanted to give y'all an update on health and wellness and what we're giving and what we're doing. I've been enjoying summer. I did what you should not do after Houston, after vacation, I got on the scale. I have something I like to call a oh shit number. Like you can enjoy life and stuff, but once you start to approach this number, it's like, oh shit, you need to reel it back and calm down and like watch it out a little bit. I'm tiptoeing, I'm crip walking up to that number a little bit. So I got to reel it in a little bit. So just, you know, it's a lifestyle. But the 10K is just to push myself. And I've always said I really want to be in like the best condition of my life by 35. This is a 10K my granny used to do all the time. So it really will mean a lot for me. I'm probably going to cry um, when I get to the end of the 10K. I'm going to cry. Y'all know I'll be crying. I'm going to cry at the end of the 10K. So it just means a lot to me. So that's it. Welcome to the vlog. My mom's in town. My sister's nine months pregnant. We're getting our life together. Let's do this. It's a new week. I want to give you better, baby, it's whatever. Somebody got to step up, girl, man. Somebody's on their legs up. Damn, if I let them catch up, it's easy to see that you fit up. I am on a whole nother level. Girl, he only fought you over because you let him. Fucking girl, I guess he didn't know any. Girl, that man didn't show any. Do all I can just to show you you're special. Certain it's your love that holds me together. Lately, you say he be killing them. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I finished my morning walk. I am feeling good. I feel like I'm having a great week, a good start. I'm on it. Yesterday I had a work, a rough work day, but as far as getting my life together, I feel like I'm on it. I had a good morning walk. I'm about to jump in the shower and get my life together because my mom and I are going to see bad boys. I feel like we're the last people to see bad boys, but I told her we got to just go see it today, but I'm going to take I guess like a, not a before picture, but like a starting point picture. But I decided to do it like not on my phone, but in person. But I got this because I've been saying that like pictures are cool, but I want to have more than just in phone pictures just in regular life. So I got this Kodak um, Doc Era. So what you do, you literally like plug your phone in. I got this just for regular pictures, but I also feel like this is a cool way just to take progress pictures. You plug your phone in, you go, you like can just pick a picture out of your regular profile, I mean your regular gallery, and then you print it, you put your paper in here and it prints out the back and then you'll have like a regular full size picture so I think I'm gonna do like a monthly picture on here and then I feel like it would be cool to I printed out my yoga poses so when I do my yoga in the morning I also can have my little thing here and then I can just have like you know like my little six months up into the race have my little progress photos versus just having it in my phone because I've had it in my phone before but it don't really do nothing you just kind of get lost in your phone and it doesn't really impact it don't hit the same so i feel like having it like that will be a cooler way to kind of keep track and to use it so i'm excited to do that and to take those also like a little shook because it's gonna make it a lot more real and i am going to update my ai workout this is the one i have right now that i had had ai make but it was before i fully committed to doing the 10k um and like incorporating the training oh the light just got really crazy incorporating the training into my workout regimen um so the way i do it i'm gonna show y'all because i feel like people do not utilize ai enough in the way that you really can 
to get it done. So I use Canva. If you have ChatGPT or whatever free AI you use, they can all do this, but I personally just use Canva. However you talk to it is how you can talk to it, but I am going to literally tell it to be my trainer. And I have Capri Curves, Joy Chavis, Thick Peter. I have all these different programs, but a lot of the times they're very specific. And it's like, I don't have a squat rack. I don't have a leg press. I don't have these things. So I needed to make a program for me based on what I have, what I have access to and what I need. So be my personal trainer and create a workout pro a weekly workout program for me to lose body fat and gain muscle i want to let's see because i want to work i want to run and i want to lift weight so let's see how i want to do that i want to i'm going to tell like i want to run and lift i'm going to tell it should be relatively low impact And I'm just gonna see. Now, a lot of times, like I edit this around, I move it around. I might tell it I wanted to, I want to, you know, gain a butt. I want to focus on my arms. I want to, you can edit it really on what you need. I've done them where I've edited them for people where I tell it like I have barbells, I have dumbbells, I have kettlebells. I'll tell it all these different things, but it's really good. You can really customize it. So that's what I do. I'll kind of put a little screen recording of what I do and how you can customize it and what it comes up with, but. Utilize it to your best ability. I'm gonna jump in the shower, but I just like to tell people that AI is very useful and I don't think people use it as much as they can. I've used it for my mom who has an elliptical and likes to walk more or, you know, my brother who might wanna gain weight. Like, you can use it a lot of different ways. So, I'm gonna jump in the shower, get ready to go to the movies, and I'll be back. Wednesday, first things first. Um, Bad Boys 4 was great. Uh, me and my mom went and saw that yesterday. Then I went to lunch with her and my sister and my niece. Walked to the Apple store to get my SD adapter for my phone. I'm trying to start using my camera to start doing reels to make them more high quality and stuff like that. So working on that. I actually started to do one this morning and I'm going to edit it. I haven't posted in forever on my Instagram. It's almost like a week which is really bad um and i started to do one and i was trying to figure out what to do i started to do one when my lights broke and the one that i'm going to do i was like let me actually put this in my vlog because it's a little bit of a word and somebody might need it too in my vlog for some reason in the last like recently i've been getting this kind of question or advice question a lot yesterday even somebody messaged me asking like about doing mentorship and that kind of thing today i actually have a call like me and my friend do monthly he started a year or so ago um to become a content creator and it kind of asked me to like help him so we do like these monthly calls and i've been having people just ask me like you know how to start a page or just becoming a creator and just tips and stuff like that so the reel that I'm gonna do today is kinda like, just post the content, just do it. I wanna preface this with, I'm not a gentle parenter. I don't know how to do that, but my advice and my tip, if you are looking to be a content creator or if you are a content creator and you are looking for a sign, this is your sign to just post the content and just do it. This week alone, it's only Wednesday. Monday, I bulk, um, filmed my lens was dirty i had to reshoot everything i could not get for whatever reason i only had to do three 50 second reels i spent the entire day shooting 150 seconds worth of content i could not get it right i could not get the lines right i could not get the footage right my cycle was on it was a shapewear 
content it, everything just fit horribly i felt bad i could not get it right worth anything my sd card adapter broke it would not upload to my phone my audio was off i had to refilm my light just broke everything was could that could be going wrong with content is going wrong so if you're looking for all the pieces to fit there's no camera that you need to buy there's not a magical app that you're gonna get. There's not a right time you're supposed to be posting. There is not a certain amount of money you need to have saved to be a content creator. There's nothing, you just need to do it. And I tell people when you when they drag their feet or they keep asking me what I need to do, what I need to do, you don't really wanna do it. Cause you just do it. You don't have to have an aesthetic home. Y'all see the content creators that don't have an aesthetic kitchen that have these cooking pages, that don't have an aesthetic closet that have these pages you just need to do it if it's something you really want to do just do it i don't even have all the answers i told i say i can't do mentorships because i'm trying to figure it out myself so that's just my uh, not to be nike but just do it what's the worst that can happen the worst that can happen is that nobody likes it and you're doing the same thing you're doing now which is being totally fine and you just have a hobby which is how all this started anyway so that's my piece of advice. I had no idea my light was gonna break today, but the world's gonna go on. I thought my reels were horrible. The brand emailed me back today and said, these are great. So it's fine. The SD adapter broke. I walked down to Apple, I bought another one. It's, it's fine, just do it. Some stuff goes well, some stuff doesn't. Some stuff gets nine views, some stuff gets 300,000. You never know. Just do the things. That's my spiel for today. That's all I got. I just wanted to, I, so there's somebody, I don't know, somebody needs to hear a content creator or somebody who wants to start a channel, just do it. It's free to start a YouTube channel. I'm gonna try to get this real up before, knock on wood, I don't know. My phone's about to probably say I don't have any storage or something, who knows. Okay, so the vlog may either A, be in early or B, has definitely taken a turn. I'm supposed to be in Columbia in room one, so I was gonna, do some stuff in Colombia uh, with my mom and my friends. Didn't end up going to Colombia, also for the same reason. And then I was like, ooh, I can take on my first official 10K run, 6.2 miles, because I downloaded a new app. I've been doing Nike Run Club, but I don't like the way they train you for 10Ks. I feel like they just focus on just the run, but not 10K specific. So I downloaded a new um, app, which I'll put right here, maybe. Um, but I feel like they really focus on starting you to train specifically to get up to pace and run the 6.2 miles. So I wanted to do the day one on that app today. Um, but the reason I'm still in Charleston and the reason I'm not in my house or going on my run is my sister might be having my nephew today. So I'm at her house dealing with that. Um, so I just put on my workout clothes and I'm gonna do my yoga at her house and see if I can get a little workout here. That the vlog might either be a taking a turn from this wellness vlog or ending early so a little life update on that but yeah so i've got all my little nike shorts and my workout bra and i'm just gonna try to just do some yoga and stuff and just get prepped i can still do my run later today i've been trying to focus on doing my runs earlier in the morning because it is already 75 degrees here and it is barely 7 a.m. It's been getting crazy hot very early. Maybe next time I see y'all, I'll have a few. I'm back, y'all. When I tell you, I've gotta stop predicting stuff because every time I've said something's gonna happen in this vlog, it's happened. So, I'm now a uh, auntie times two. My day consisted of completely being at the hospital all day long um to welcoming my nephew which was amazing i didn't um film at the hospital because i just wanted to you know respect my sister's um privacy and everything for that so i didn't film or get any footage at the hospital but it was a great day i didn't do any content or run or do any of that kind of stuff um but it was still a great day amazing day I'm home now, just doing my skincare routine. Another part of my getting my life together and my wellness stuff has been really like perfecting my skincare routine. I feel like I've gotten to the point where 
I'm really like gotten it down to what I do on what day, the products I use. I'm really excited. And I'm going to do like a routine breakdown. It's a lot of the same products, but I've also added some that I think have really made the difference. My mom has even, I should've put my wrist, my wrist covers on. My mom has even in the last week or so thought I had on makeup like multiple times. So it's working, it's doing something. But I've really been excited to like be adding the products and seeing a difference because I have oily combination, I'm acne prone, I have scarring, hyperpigmentation, all the things and I have texture so a lot of times it's just been hard for me to see changes in my skin. I stopped my birth control at one point about two years ago and my skin went completely crazy and like turned on me. So some things that I have changed or added that I've loved. Just two weeks ago I added these um, Biodance Collagen Sleep Masks. You just do them once a week. Um, I saw them on TikTok. I actually did a TikTok video about them, um, which I can either link or add. You wear them overnight and they literally like melt into your face. It's really, really cool, but I've seen a difference with those and I really, really like them. Um, I have added back into my facial routine The Ordinary, probably one of my most popular videos on YouTube. No, probably my most popular video on YouTube is when I did the Ordinary review years ago and I've added back the um, salicylic acid and that has really helped my breakouts a lot. Like a lot, a lot, a lot that's helped my breakouts. Um, I've added back, I've added these Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. These are really helping with um, my texture and those fine bumps and also my pores. So I use these as like a toning step to exfoliate and help with my skin texture. And what I'm gonna be adding today, my cleanser is still Dermalogica. I'm still a Dermalogica girl when it comes to cleansing. My cleanser is still Dermalogica. The main things that I've been adding that I've seen changing has been like my serums and my kind of aftercare kind of stuff. Um, what I'm trying today and I'm adding because hydration has been big for me as I'm fighting aging. I finally gave in and I'm trying the snail mucin. Um, so this is the Cosarex, Corsex, Cosarex, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. Um, the Snail Mucin Power Essence. I've seen it, my friends have tried it, they like it. I've been trying to resist using it, but people have finally talked me into it. Um, so I'm gonna be trying this today for hydration. It says just to use your fingertips. I've already heard the texture is gonna kind of freak me out, so. I'm just gonna be trying this all over. It says apply evenly with your fingertips and it is supposed to literally be like, okay, it is very snail-like. So it says just to like pat into your face. And this is just supposed to be really good for hydration all over. But I just wanted to kind of go over some skincare stuff because I feel like with getting in shape, with getting your food together, I feel like skin and all that kind of goes together. Also like getting back into my reading, I'm finishing up 12 week year, just all that kind of stuff goes hand in hand. So even though I didn't get to kind of finish my week with that stuff today, I still wanted to kind of touch on that. I'm going to bed really early today. I've had a long day, I'm going to bed early. And I've got my work, my running clothes laid out so I can still start that app in the morning and do my first 6.2 full training run in the morning so i'm gonna end the vlog there thank you guys so much for watching accountability partner we're getting our life together hopefully this will not be the last y'all hear this if y'all don't hear about me talking about this again in another vlog check on me be like weren't you running that 10k what's going on with that just check on me thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one okay this is proof of life week two I am training for my 10K. I did not have a chance to run this week, but it's Saturday, it's 6 a.m. We're getting to it. I'm switching to a new 10K app that I think I'm going to like more. Um, so I'm gonna try that. I'm doing this fasted. I don't know, I'm gonna regret that. I don't have one of those cute running bags, one of those running vests. 
So this is what I have to do the trick today. I've got my Beyonce queued up because if Beyonce doesn't motivate you, I don't know what will. I think we're good. Okay. Okay. This might be a app I can get behind. Because you run some, then you walk. Then you run, then you walk. So far, so good. I'm halfway. I do not want that to be confused with. This is easy. Okay, I finished. That wasn't too bad. That was only week one, day one. But I finished. My fastest was an eight minute mile. My walk was like 12 minutes. But we did it. So, week two of training for today. Yeah. Okay.